Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how the person that is on your mind truly feels since you've been gone. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into these messages. Give me messages please, Holy Spirit. For everyone that watches this reading, when it comes to the person my viewers are separated from, how does that person truly feel since my viewers have been gone? How does that person truly feel since my viewers have been gone? Two more shuffles. Right. So let's see what comes out here. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have burdens. My goodness. This card reads, been feeling overwhelmed. I have a lot going on in my life right now. So this person is overwhelmed. I feel like a lot of you were there for them. And now this person is having to carry a lot of their burdens on their own. They're going through a lot right now. At the top of the deck, we have no escape. So even though the two of you are separated from one another, their heart always comes back to you. They feel like they can't escape this connection. And I feel like they're having a hard time dealing with the separation. At the bottom of the deck, we have make them prove it. So... I feel like this person let you down time and time again. For some of you, this person may come back toward you and spirit is encouraging you to make this person prove themselves. Wow. Give me more. How does this person truly feel? Thank you. All right. We have waiting game and that card came out crossing. So... For some of you, this person is a little bit unsure in regards to whether you're still waiting to reconnect with them. This card reads, I've been slow to return, but maybe it's because I know you'll be waiting. So with the card coming out crossing, it lets me know that this person feels as though you may be moving on with your life this time around. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, we have They Will Call. So I do feel like this person will end up reaching out to you, but they've been waiting for you to reach out to them first. At this point, it's coming out like they're tired of waiting, so they may end up taking the initiative. So this person is operating out of pride right now. They're finding it hard to stay away from you, and I feel like they're taking this separation or this disconnect a lot harder than you realize. Right beside that, we have I love you. This card reads, I love you more than I have ever found a way to say to you. So I feel like this person didn't always treat you as though they loved you. Some of you may have even questioned if this person really did love you in the first place. But for some of you, they may reach out telling you that they're still in love with you. Yeah, see, fighting it is right beside I love you. So that lets me know that this person has been trying to fight the love that they have for you. But the more they fight their feelings, the harder it is for them to resist you. So yeah, for some of you, they'll definitely be reaching out with communication. Give me more. How does this person truly feel since my viewers have been gone? Thank you. We have competition. This card reads, I get intimidated and nervous knowing you get so much attention. So this person doesn't want anyone else focused on you. And they definitely don't want you focused on others. At the bottom of the deck, we have elimination. So this is giving me energy of this person eventually coming in out of fear that someone else could possibly win you over. See, they feel like they have competition when it comes to you. So they could think that you're involved with someone else 
or they at least feel that other people are interested in you. Give me more. How does this person truly feel? Thank you. We have telepathic, undecided, and we also have player. So this person has been trying to communicate with you telepathically. This energy has been coming out so much in the readings and different decks. So as of now, some of your thoughts or feelings may not be your own. And it's going to be important for you to be able to decipher between your energy and this person's energy. With undecided being here... I feel like this person is a little bit conflicted in regards to whether they truly want to be in a monogamous relationship or not. Even if they're dealing with someone else, they could be in player energy. So as of now, they're non-committal. It's giving energy of them wanting to live the best of both worlds. They want to be free to do their own thing, but they also like the benefits of having a partner. If they are involved with someone else, I feel like they're emotionally unavailable when it comes to that other person. They may have even been emotionally unavailable when the two of you were dealing with one another. Hmm. So, yeah, this person is in some player energy as of now so if they haven't come in as of lately spirit is encouraging you to trust the plan you don't want someone in player energy coming toward you okay give me more how does this person truly feel since my viewers have been gone and see if they don't truly want to be in a long-term committed relationship then they need to leave you alone. They need to just be by themselves. This is someone who doesn't even need to be dating because they're not emotionally available. They just like the benefits that come with you or that comes with being in a relationship. We have family and that card came out in reverse. So as of now, this person could be going through some type of family issue or they could be worried about a particular family member. Now, if the two of you do have children together, this person feels as though they broke their family apart, okay? So they are aware that they've messed up with you. At the top of the deck, we have Clueless. So I feel like this person does not like to take accountability they like to pretend as though they're not doing anything wrong or like you have no reason to feel the way that you feel. But deep down, they know exactly where they're going wrong. With you first being at the bottom of the deck, this card reads, I'm not making a move. You know where to find me. So this is just confirmation in regards to what I was telling you guys before about this person waiting for you to reach out to them first. But it's getting hard for them to keep up the image, to keep up the facade. They're tired of waiting. So I do feel like this person will eventually end up reaching out to you. But as of now, they could be trying to distract themselves with work or some other type of activity. They're just trying to keep themselves busy, could be working on their finances. But you're always in the back of this person's mind. Also, for some of you, this person has the mentality of, well, if Mystic Goddess's viewer wanted things to work, if Mystic Goddess's viewer truly wanted to be with me, then he or she would reach out to me first. But see, it goes both ways. Huh. They really need to put their pride to the side. This is also someone who may have a toxic family or toxic family members. For some of you, they're coming out like they're not a family man or a family woman. They don't seem to be family oriented. They have the potential to be, but as of now, this is someone who just likes to play the field. Like I said, they want the best of both worlds. This is someone who wants it all. They want their cake and eat it too. 
Give me more. Thank you. We have Epiphany. This card reads, I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left me. So whether you left this person or they left you, their life is empty. And they didn't realize how much they would be affected by you no longer being in their life. I do also feel like they could be doing a little bit of reflecting, but it's also giving me energy of this person kind of feeling sorry for themselves. Huh. Give me more. How does this person truly feel? Thank you. All right, so we have helpless and we also have fantasizing. And both of those cards came out crossing. So they're feeling helpless right now. They seem to have gotten themselves stuck in a particular situation and they feel like there's no way out of it. Huh? For some of you, they feel like there's nothing they can do to change your mind or they feel like there's not much they can do to make things better. So this person feels as though they're between a rock and a hard place. As of now, they're just fantasizing about you a lot. For some of you, they're having a lot of sexual fantasies in regards to you. Hmm. And they can't help it. I feel like even when they're trying to distract themselves from thoughts of you, you still end up entering this person's mind. For some of you, they're even having dreams about you. At the bottom of the deck, we have regret. So this person is regretting walking away or they're regretting letting you walk away. This card reads, I wish I knew then what I know now. Hmm. You don't miss your water until your well runs dry. For some of you, they're wishing that they would have eliminated certain things or certain people that came between the two of you. But see, again... I just feel like this person is having a pity party because nothing or no one would be able to come between the two of you unless this person allowed it to happen. So they need to take accountability in regards to the part they played in the disconnect or the breakup between the two of you. Because I feel like this person likes to come off like, well, I'm doing all that I can do or I didn't do anything wrong. It's not my fault. It's always someone else's fault with them. They're always pointing the finger. But they're in deep regret though. They are realizing they could have done a lot more to better this connection and to make things work. I heard hands are tied. So this person at some point was coming off like they weren't even trying to do better. Give me more. How does this person truly feel since my viewers have been gone? Thank you. We have shut down. That card came out crossing and we also have can't move on. So a lot of you may feel as though this person has just moved on with, with their life and they're not giving you a second thought. But everything isn't always what it looks like. This person is actually having a very hard time moving on from you. And even if they are entertaining someone else or if they've gotten into a new relationship, they're still stuck on you. And I feel like they really get in their feelings at night. Hmm. Yeah, this is someone that's trying to fake it. They're trying to come off as though they're having the time of their life. Like they're enjoying themselves. They're over it. They're over you. And that's exactly what they want you to see. That's what they want you to believe. It's all about what it looks like with this person. But it's not the reality of the situation. I feel like they try to surround themselves with people. 
they may be trying their best to um, go out and enjoy themselves but when they're alone or at least at night they're all in their head with shut down coming out crossing this is someone who has attempted to move on though but whoever they're dealing with they don't truly desire that person it's giving placeholder type of energy or maybe them dealing with a rebound give me more thank you we have drama so they have a lot of drama going on in their life right now for some of you i feel as though this person thinks a lot about certain arguments that the two of you had for some of you they're thinking about some type of drama that happened between the two of you but they feel like it wasn't worth it okay it just wasn't worth it for some of you they may feel as though you don't even want to talk to them if you have been keeping your distance it's kind of driving this person crazy a little bit it's making them more desperate to hear from you i also feel like they flip-flop a lot there may be times when they think about texting you they think about calling you and then they'll change their mind give me more it's coming out like they're trying to understand or trying to comprehend why you haven't initiated a reconciliation as of yet now some of you may have and if you did i feel like this person may have kind of blew you off a little bit or they may have come off as though they weren't really interested it's just giving me energy of this person wanting you to beg them okay and i know that sounds crazy but that's what i'm seeing here wow now this could be future energy for some of you where if any of you were to decide to reach out to this person if you were to decide to break no contact, they may try to play hard to get. And I feel like it's because they don't want to come off as desperate. We have online dating here. And that card wanted to come out crossing. So for some of you, this person has some type of online presence. They could be on different porn websites or dating websites for others of you. I feel like this person could be active on social media. They could also be researching you online. Even if you don't have a social media presence, I feel like they research your name. So for example, if this person has Facebook, ever so often they may look up your name on Facebook, okay? So yo, whoever they're dealing with, I'm telling you, it's not as serious as it seems. It's very casual. But they may be trying to make it seem as though it's more than what it really is. Or they may have settled for someone out of desperation to make you jealous or despite you. For some of you, if they have a social media presence, they may even flirt with people online or they post certain things in hopes that you'll see it or in hopes that it'll get back to you. Hmm. give me more how does this person truly feel thank you we have i love you again so with the card coming out crossing it lets me know that this person wonders if you still love them or not they feel like you've fallen out of love with them it's either that or they think that you love them, but you're not in love with them anymore. At the bottom of the deck, we have grass is greener. So I do feel like this person was searching for greener grass or they could be doing that currently. But see, if they are entertaining someone else, they're not in love with that person. And for some of you, they got involved with someone else just to push your buttons, especially if they post that person online or if they flaunt them, if they mentioned the other person to you, if they told you that 
they had moved on. It's all to push your buttons. This card reads, I do things to trigger you. It's the only way I know you care. That's really toxic. But this person may have tried to rub another love interest in your face or they may have tried to make it seem as though they found someone better than you. Like the other person is so much easier to deal with. They're so happy now. It's all to try and trigger you. They want a response. They want you to react to it. Hmm. Because in their mind, if you react to them dealing with someone else, then they think that means you still care. If you don't react, if you don't respond to it, then in their mind, they'll think that you don't care about them anymore or you're not in love with them. So they have a crazy toxic way of thinking instead of just coming in asking you how you feel or instead of them coming in expressing how they feel they'd rather trigger you to get their answers hmm. for some of you they worry about you finding greener grass because they know you can do better i feel like that's this person's biggest fear some of you have found greener grass okay and if you made a new relationship public or if you were to do that in the future this person will think that you're doing it to try and get under their skin but that's not for all of you so please don't force that to fit give me more how does this person truly feel since my viewers have been gone thank you we have divine union this card reads, you left every part of me untouched. I realize who you are now. So they feel as though you're their divine counterpart. For some of you, this could be a twin flame. This could definitely be a twin flame. I feel like you touched this person on a soul level. Hmm. And if you notice, there's two people on this card and one has angel wings. I feel like it took this person to lose you to realize how good they had it. Your energy is very angelic. They know that you're a good person. They know that you have a good heart. But I also feel like you touching this person on a soul level was triggering to them because they prefer superficial relationships. This connection was so deep to the point where it made them a little bit uncomfortable. We have breaking point at the bottom of the deck. I'm reaching my breaking point. I feel pushed to make a decision. So they feel pushed to make a decision in regards to reaching out to you or trying to reconcile. But they know that they have to make some changes. And I feel like they're not truly ready. It's going to take this person to go beyond that breaking point in order for them to change. They're already going through a lot. They seem to be depressed. They're a little bit numb. But at the same time, I feel like they may have broken down, could be experiencing anxiety. They can't quiet their mind. So I feel like this person is on the verge of a mental breakdown. And it's mainly because they know that they have to come toward you with changed behavior or they're going to lose you forever. But for some of you, it's already too late because you may have already let this person go. Hmm. Give me one more card to end the reading. Thank you. That came out quick. We have new love. So this person thinks that you're connecting with a new lover. And this card fell out on top of telepathics. So energetically, this person feels as though you've already moved on with someone else. Or that you are about to find a new love. Okay, they feel that energetically. For some of you, they've had dreams about this. 
it's almost like they can sense it. Like they can sense that someone else is going to come in and sweep you off of your feet because the competition card is here. It makes them nervous. They get intimidated by the thought of it. But they're so prideful to the point where they don't want you to know that the thought of you being with someone else bothers them. They come off like they're fine. But deep down, the thought of you being with someone else, the thought of you giving someone else your attention, it really overwhelms them. Wow. So yeah, there's a lot going on here. This is someone who may try to start doing things to push your buttons or to trigger you. It's coming out like they could flaunt another love interest in your face or make it seem as though they found someone better. But it's not what it seems. It's all to push your buttons because they're wanting a reaction out of you. They are trying to communicate with you telepathically and they do feel as though the two of you are divine counterparts. They're burdened by the disconnect or the breakup between the two of you and they just feel like their life is falling apart. They have a lot on their plate and they feel like they can't catch a break. This person was waiting on you to reach out to them. They wanted you to be the one to break no contact. And if you have not reached out as of yet, I feel as though this person will eventually reach out to you. Now, remember what I was telling you guys before. If you were to reach out to this person, don't be surprised if they play hard to get. It's their way of being spiteful. For some of you, the main reason they're going to reach out is because they feel as though someone else has your attention. They are still in love with you. The thought of you being with someone else actually bothers them because they don't want to see you loving anyone else the way that you love them. So they are having a hard time moving on. But if you go by appearance, <laughs> this person could possibly fool you. They have a lot of regrets here. But at this point, they're not completely ready to change their ways. So this is giving me energy of someone who doesn't want to do right by you, but they don't want to see anyone else have you. That's all it is to it. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.